going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're building the seat swivel for the Astro Van. If you've done any research about a, sweet, a seat swivel for the Astro Van, you'll know that they are hard to come by. And you'll also know of the mysterious Northern Tool uh, seat swivel. It don't exist anymore. It was like a hundred bucks. That's still out there. You look on the uh, internet and you'll see forums of people asking about it and oh, Northern Tool, go to, go to Northern Tool. No, I looked through Northern Tool, that thing is discontinued, so that's no longer an option, and that used to be the best one. The other option is Iron Cloud Metalworks, and that is $389 for a seat, just the base, the seat swivel base. Um, I know there's other websites that sell the exact same swivel from the same manufacturer, and those cost 400 so you're looking at pretty expensive stuff. I did see another website that had their own seat swivel listed for $250. Um, I don't know much about that one. It looks like it'd be a decent project, but still 250 bucks for a seat swivel. I was like, heck no. So I decided to build this seat swivel. Shorter than uh, Iron Cloud Metalworks. It might not work as good. Uh, I don't know, because I don't have that product, but it works for what I need. Uh, if you guys want to make a seat swivel for under $200, then this is your uh, this is your swivel. My materials cost me $150, and it took me probably two and a half hours of continuous work. Uh, not bad, if you think about it. I, I like saving money and I like building my own things. So if you're the same way, this is a great project to do. Let's get into it. I'll kind of show you what you need to do and go through some of the steps. That way you can see what you need to do. And then at the end of this video, I'll include a material list of uh, the material you'll need to get this done. And in reality, it is not much. Most of it is the swivel and some plate metals. All right, guys, so here's the bolt pattern for the seat. Well, guys, um, unfortunately, my audio wasn't working when I was filming uh, all the parts I had to build the Astrovan uh, swivel seat. Um, so those are pretty much no good. And I didn't realize it until I was editing the video just now. So I'm coming back right now to kind of give you a rundown of the parts you need to begin. Uh, yeah. So you'll pretty much need three main parts. Okay. The first part is the swivel, of course. And the second and third part are each a piece of sheet metal. Um, the, the sheet metal is... 3 sixteenths inches th inch thick. Can't say that very good. Um, and the swivel is uh, just off of Amazon. I'll include a link for that. Basically, the reason you need the sheet metal is because the swivel, it won't fit on the bolt pattern for the Astrovan. The Astrovan is like, uh, I don't know. I forget the measurements, but it's bigger than the, what the seat swivel is. I mean, the seat swivel isn't made for the Astro Van, so of course it won't work. So, is what the the metal is for is basically to adapt from the floor to the swivel to the floor to the chair. Uh, that's kind of confusing. I'm going to grab the camera and show you this. It's a lot easier to explain it. Basically, here's a piece of sheet metal, here's a piece of sheet metal, and then there is the swivel right in there. So, as you can see, Here's the bolt pattern for the swivel, and here's the bolt pattern for the van, and they do not match. So, this is what I'm saying you need to adapt. Uh, this sheet metal, I just drilled holes where the van seat would normally sit, where the bolt pattern's at. That way I can set this on here. And then I put the swivel on it, and as you can see here, I have this uh, seat swivel, the swivel base bolted onto this. So it adapts from this bolt pattern to that bolt pattern. Okay. Now I have the swivel on there. And again, I had to adapt to another plate metal so I could put the chair on. <laughs> so I just drilled holes to match the swivel on this, bolted it on, and then I put the chair where I wanted it. And then as you can kind of see, it's dark, but I drilled holes and then bolted the chair on. Pretty self-explanatory. It's actually pretty simple. Um, so yeah, you'll need one piece of metal 
two pieces of metal, a swivel, and then some bolts. And a chair, of course. Hopefully you have a chair. But yeah, this is simple. Uh, I'll start going through the process. But the first step is going to be grinding these pieces of metal down and getting them ready to paint. These two plates are the same width and length, whatever you want to call it. They're uh, 16 by 16, both of them, because the bolt pattern inside the Astro van and on the bottom of the seat, I think is like 13 and a half inches apart. That way it'll give me a few more inches, like a few inches overhanging just to be for strength. So if you're doing an Astro van, 16 by 16, get two steel plates. I got these from my local metal mart, pretty much. It's called Barber Metals if you're here in Utah. Uh, two plates, 25 bucks. They laser cut them for me and everything. So first step is to grind and then we're gonna come in here and measure the bolt pattern, transfer it over to the metal. That way we know where we can drill through. So like I said, the first step is going to be measuring your marks. So I can go an inch and a half in on each side. So here is my bolt pattern marked on here. And is how I did this. I marked this first one an inch and a half in and an inch and a half down. And then from there I marked this one, the distance. So I measured from here down to here which is the same as this to this, and then still an inch and a half in. And then on this side, I measured this way, um, the distance from here to here, it's the same as here to here, and then an inch and a half in. And for this last one, I measured from here to here, and then I marked the distance, and then from here to here, I marked the distance going down. That way, it's not just an inch and a half, it's actually what it is. <laughs> so when you're doing that, mark the bolt pattern the way I did it, or it'll be wrong. So now I'm gonna drill this out, test fit it and make sure it works. And then I'll come back and I can uh, get the bolt pattern for the top of the swivel. All right guys, so I was just taking a look at this swivel and I do not know what these bars are. My guess is they're a footrest, <laughs> but I'm not really sure to be honest. So, and they're in the way is the bad part. When I swivel this, you know, that's a lot of, a lot of a jab space, if you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut those off. Uh, if you want, you can leave them, but I, they're just, I don't know what they're for, man. <laughs> I really don't. Um, there's threads in there. I don't know if it's gonna hurt something if I cut this off. I highly doubt it. But yeah, I'm just gonna probably cut it off. Probably about there and there, and we'll see what it does. All right, guys. So now that uh, now that we got that other base piece drilled, is what I want to do is get this piece. Oh. Sh is what I want to do is get this piece drilled on to this and then get the swivel onto this. That way I can set the other piece in there, set the swivel on there, and maybe kind of test it out and see how it'll swivel inside the van before I permanently drill the swivel down. That way I can kind of see which side I want the handle on and it all positioned if that makes any sense. So, anyways, we're gonna get this put on, like I just said. So now that I'm at this point, I am going to 
attach attach the swivel to this. I'm just trying to decide. I gotta put it like this. Whoa. Wait a second. That's not cool, bro. So basically what I just realized is that nut sits out further than the sides of this. So problem. But that's actually an easy solution. Three quarters. Okay, I got that center hole all drilled, and let's test fit it and make sure it works. Well, it fits. Do the holes line up is the question. Close enough. We'll make it work. I'm going to give you a closer look right here. I had to, so these are the bolts that bolt into the seat. So you can see those. And then the swivel are these bolts right here. So basically is what I'm doing is just this plate metal is an adapter. This is 3 16th plate metal. And I think that's probably plenty thick. If you'd like, you can go a step up, but I think that would just be a waste since that's no thicker than this metal. And yeah, you see that I did it on all four corners. There's that one, and there's that one. I haven't tightened these up yet, um, but once I do, hopefully it'll work. And then, yeah, this swivel, you just pull that lever, and it should spin. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand, but then it'll lock back into place. So that is the basic contraption that I'm going to start with. And now once I tighten this, I'll bring it into the van and we'll test fit it and see what it does. So as you saw, I just test fit it, and the only problem I can see is that it's a little tall. That's kind of unavoidable at this point, um, thinking of the design. I think the ones from uh, Iron Cloud Metalworks, the $400 one, sits up about the same height, so this is going to work, and it'll be almost the same. So... 150 bucks or 400 bucks, you tell me. All right, so now that I've got the base put on there, the next step is to mark this bottom plate uh, where you want the, the, the seat to sit, right? So basically it might be kind of hard for you to see, but I'm gonna get this about where I want it which I think is going to be right about here, right there. And then I'm just going to take a Sharpie right here and mark it down just like that. <laughs> I mean, pretty self-explanatory, but yeah. So I'll drill this bottom hole, these bottom holes. I'll get the plate attached with the two bolts, and then I'll mark the other two and then drill those ones just so it's, Accurate as can be. And this is kind of spitballing. Alrighty. I got this drilled. And now I am going to attempt. This is a lot heavier than I thought it would be. Oh.
Okay, not too bad so far. This is the real test now. <sighs> what about this way? Heck yeah, I can. <laughs> oh, perfect, man. Perfect. Well, it works. Thank goodness. <sighs> I'm freaking tired. This is a pain in the butt. The first time I drilled it, I didn't video it, but first time I drilled it, uh, I mean, I did the best I could, but <laughs> when you swivel, it would hit, uh, it would hit right here, and then I couldn't swivel it the other way because it would hit this uh, center console. So, yeah, it didn't work. So I had to redrill it, and just basically I moved it up five inches, or back five inches, I guess. But it worked perfect. Um, there's no way I'm going to get past not hitting this, I realize, unless I like scoot the freaking chair in the middle of the van, but... Hey, this is a small Astro van. <laughs> well, this is the best you're going to get unless you... I don't know. Oh, well. It works, and I'm actually pretty happy with it. All right, guys. I got the floor put back in. The seat's uh, all bolted down now. And I went through and painted all this metal. So it's all painted and ready to be bolted down now, as you can see. It's got the little bolts put up. Sticking up, I just got to put these nuts on right there. But yeah, painted it all black. I'll bolt it down now. Well, heck yeah, this is what exactly what I wanted. Uh, it's a little bit tight in this area. Um, I mean, this is the Astro van, so it's not the biggest van in the world. So the, the swivel sw swiveling around is a little bit tight with between here and here and everything, but it's what I expected, right? I, I kind of knew. So you got an Astro van, I mean, expect the swivel to be tight because it is. This is a smaller van. Uh, if you got like an Express, Chevy Express, or like a, I don't know, a Sprinter, this will still work in it. You just got to make your own bolt pattern for it. Uh, but I'm sure you'll have a lot more room than what I got. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if I just op over here, I can swivel this around just fine. On it, it's a little bit tough because of my legs, honestly. But yeah, and same thing with this leg, it's a little bit tight, but yeah, see it, as you can see, it locks in place really well. I could probably can tighten up these bolts, I didn't tighten them all the way down on the bottom. But other than that, this thing is exactly where I want it. This is the, the swivel, if you follow kind of what I did, just watch closely. Uh, It'll turn out with a great product. So this is going to be shorter than the ones you can buy. My, as you can see, my head's hitting the ceiling. And this raised it by like four inches. I'm pretty sure the ones you buy on the internet, I was looking at the the, the specifications. They actually don't have a specification on there. But to me, it looked like they were like probably two or three inches taller than this. So my head would have been really crooked in here if I would have bought that. So I'm definitely glad I built my own because, I mean, it worked exactly the same and I have more headroom and it was cheaper. Win, win, win. Definitely win. And I'm proud of it. So there you go. But uh, if you want to build a cheap swivel, go get two pieces of metal, both at, if, if you're building for the Astro van, that is. I'm sure you can do this for the Chevy Express and any other van you want, but for the We'll just generalize it. We'll say get two pieces of metal to match your bolt patterns. Get get 12 bolts and then get a swivel. I'll have a link to the swivel on Amazon. It's $120, I believe. $119, $120. Somewhere in there. It's cheaper than anything else 
any other option for the Astro Van. All you're gonna need is some drill bits, a drill, paint, and a grinder. A grinder might be kind of hard. If you really want, use sandpaper. Uh, the reason I used a grinder was to sand the edge. Well, I grinded the whole top so the paint would stick better. And then I used the, uh, the grinder to hit the edges to kind of bevel it and make it not so sharp. If you really don't have a grinder, <laughs> use sandpaper. It'll work the same. It'll just take a little more work. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you learned something new that are, is going to help you with your van build and actually building out a swivel seat. So I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to stay tuned so you can see more videos. The van is almost done, so we're almost ready to go on an adventure. A few more weeks, hopefully. Crossing my fingers. We're getting there. But next step, uh, probably electrical. So I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Thank you.